Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. So today I'm bringing to you a very easy bohemian um, bag. It's very simple to crochet. I've put a little floral button on the front flap. It's only for decorative purposes. And this is a very beginner friendly project and I hope you enjoy it. So for this project you will need a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and a 100% cotton yarn. So I used um, Serdar DK yarn but you can use any 100% cotton yarn in a light three weight in US terms and DK weight in English terms. I will be linking everything in the description box from the yarn I use to substitutes you can use. And check out my blog to download the free pattern for this um, bag. Everything again will be in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe if you like crochet videos. You will also be needing a button. I will be linking that in the description box too. A pair of scissors, a tapestry needle and some darning needle and um, thread. And I will be using US terms. Make a slip knot, pop your hook through and tighten. And you will be chaining 41. I will be chaining less for my sample, but um, the result will be the exact same except for the size. So just go ahead and chain 41. So one, two, three, four. So I have gone ahead and made my smaller chain, so you should have 41 chains. And what we're going to do now is um, half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So just count one, two and three and go into that third chain with a half double crochet. So to make your half double crochet, just wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that chain, take your yarn, pull it through. You've got three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through all three loops. And your first chain two right here will count as a half double crochet. So what we're going to do now is place another half double crochet into the next chain space. So just wrap your yarn around your hook and pop it into your next chain space and pull through and wrap your yarn around and go into the next chain space with a half double crochet, three loops on your hook and pull through three. And what we are going to be doing is placing a half double crochet until the end of this row. So I've just gone ahead and placed my half double crochets until the end of the row. And now I'm just gonna show you row two. So for row two, you are just going to be chaining two, one and two, and turn your work like so. And this chain two right here counts as a half double crochet. So basically it goes with that first stitch right here. And so now we are going to be placing a, a half double crochet into the second stitch. So just wrap your yarn around your hook and go into the second stitch. And this is how we will be getting a straight edge. So now we are just gonna go into the next um, stitch and place a half double crochet into that. And basically what we are going to be doing is placing a half double crochet into each and every stitch until the end of the rows. So I've almost finished my row of half double crochets. So I'm just gonna place a half double crochet into the next stitch like so. And um, then you will have this chain two right here from the previous row. And I'm really insisting upon showing you this because it is so important to place your last half double crochet, your last half double crochet, yes, into this chain two from the previous row. So just place a half 
double crochet into this. So to begin row three, we are going to be chaining two. So one and two, turn your work. And basically we are just going to be doing the exact same thing as for row two. So you are just, so this counts as our first half double crochet. So we're just gonna go into the second stitch directly like so. So just wrap your yarn round and place your half double crochet into the second stitch and place a half double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the next stitch and you will be doing this until the end of this row and once again don't forget the chain two from the previous row at the end of this row and at the end of each row and basically this pattern will just be a repeat of row two over and over and you will be making 19 rows Hi again guys, so now that you've created your two panels for this bag, you are going to be making your flap. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to make your flap. So once we've done our slip knot, we are just going to be chaining four. So one, two, three and four and once we've chained four we are just going to be slip stitching into the first chain that we've created to form a circle so take your yarn pull it through that first stitch here and pull it through the next stitch and this is what it's going to look like and we're just going to go into that circle and work into it so to begin we are going to chain three so one two and three and this counts as our first double crochet what we'll be doing now is placing six double crochets into that circle and i am going to weave my um tail in as we go along so just wrap your yarn around the hook and go into the center and take your yarn pull it through you've got three loops on your hook take your yarn pull through two loops and take your yarn and pull through two loops and this is your first double crochet well actually your second because this counts as a double crochet and we are just going to be placing another double crochet into this so go through two loops and go through two loops two you are just going to be um, chaining three one two and three turn your work and you will be placing another double crochet into each um, double crochet from the previous row so basically that's called two double crochets together so that counts as our first double crochet so we're just going to go into that first stitch here and place another double crochet into that and then into the next stitch we are going to be placing two double crochets oops into that so just go ahead and place two double crochets so this is round two and we have just placed two double crochets together all along and basically the point is to add seven double crochets per row per round so what we are going to do in the next round it's very simple don't forget the pattern is available for free for download on my blog selinaveronique.com so just go ahead and download that so um, for round three you are going to chain three one two and three turn your work and we are once again gonna place two double crochets together inside that first stitch and now we are going to go into the second stitch and just place one double crochet because like I said you need to add seven double crochets per round so um, 
we are just going to alternate two double crochets together and one double crochet for this round. So in the third stitch you are going to place two double crochets together. So just go ahead and place your two double crochets together into that. In the um, next stitch, one double crochet on its own. So for row four, we are just going to be chaining three again. One, two, three. And this counts as our first double crochet as always. And again, the principle is the exact same. We are going to be adding seven double crochets into this round. And so we are going to be placing two double crochets together in the first stitch. So just go ahead and place another double crochet into that first stitch. Then just go into the second stitch and place one double crochet on its own and into the next stitch and place one double crochet on its own. So now we are going to be placing two double crochets together into the next stitch. So just go ahead and place one double crochet and then another inside that same stitch. So once you've finished row 8, you are going to be doing row 9 and it will be a bit different from the other rows so I'm just going to go ahead and show you on my project how to do row 9. So to begin, chain 3, 1, 2 and 3 and this counts as our first um, double crochet and once we've done this first double crochet we are just going to be um, skipping three um, stitches so just go ahead and count one two and three and go into the fourth so just go into that um, stitch and place a double crochet and we are going to be placing a shell into this um, stitch so we are going to be placing six more double crochets into this um, stitch so three so just go ahead and place six more so you will be having seven double crochets in total stitch you are going to count three one two three skip those and go into the fourth stitch and place seven double crochets into this stitch So I've almost finished this row and I've placed my last um, shell and I still have one, so one, two, three and four stitches left and what I'm going to do to make this project symmetric is just go into that last stitch which is the chain three from the previous row and I'm just going to go into this and place a double crochet into that. So just a simple double crochet on its own to finish off this um, row. So now that we've um, completed every part of our project, we are just gonna sew it in. So to sew in your project, we are gonna start by the squares. So we are just going to be sewing this part, this part, and this. And basically just go into the other side, the other corner and start your sewing by popping um, your um, sewing needle through and then you are just going to be sewing your project together um, going through each stitch as best you can so I'm just going to go back and forth it's a very easy stitching I all right so I'm back and I've just finished um, stitching all these sides what we are going to do now is turn this um, inside out because um, this is um, we don't want the stitching to appear just um, pop your um, 
corners out make sure it's all nice and basically what we are going to be doing now is stitching the flap onto um, our project we are going to be stitching it to the back um, piece if that makes sense so to this side and um, so that it flaps when closed over like this. this side and now I'm just gonna start stitching so I'm just gonna pop my needle through the corner here like this and I'm just gonna place a very um, like basic stitch throughout delicately very delicately and so I'm back and I've just finished stitching my flap onto my bag and I'm really excited about how it looks it's so pretty and so basically the only thing well we have two things left but one of those things is to actually tie our um, our um, rope onto our bag just gonna pop about maybe half an inch of it inside the bag like that if that makes any sense so I hope you can see and I'm just gonna stitch it in at the corner be doing the exact same thing with the other side just one word of advice just make sure you don't twist your um, your rope I hope you enjoyed this video um, don't forget to subscribe if you want a new crochet video every week and also I am going to be lining this bag and I will be linking um, a video on how to line a crochet bag. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.